professional long arm quilter, I'm often asked what tools I prefer to use um, while I'm quilting. And today I thought I would show you some scissors that I particularly like. I think scissors are a very critical part of quilting, even though most of us have indeed gravitated to the rotary cutter, there still is a need for scissors in our arsenal. The first one, and if I could only have one scissor, it would be the classic shear um, with the long blade. These are um, gingers, or ginger rather, and I have had these for years and I love them because it has a nice firm uh, feel to it and it gives me a knife, knife edge every time I cut fabric. Um, these can be resharpened, which makes them a lifetime gift literally. And if uh, you've got somebody on your list that's looking for um, something to add to their quilting tool collection, definitely consider a nice pair of scissors. This is a, an investment that you can't go wrong with. I also like a smaller pair of stand, whoops, standard scissors, um, especially if they're padded, because they have very, very uh, sharp points. The blade, as you can see, there's a bevel there, and it gives a nice tight cut. And with the scissors being padded, they're a little more ergonomic. And these are wonderful for cutting out any kind of applique or detailed pieces that you might be um, adding onto your quilts. Speaking of applique, you absolutely need to have a pair of duckbill scissors. Once you have appliqued uh, your fabric on, you can come up right next to it and this will lift the fabric up away from the stitching and then you can snip. And what this does is it prevents you from going too far and cutting into your applique or into your background fabric. Um, they're slightly curved, as you can see, so they sit up above the fabric when you're working with it and it gives you a nice, uh, ability to reach in and cut very, very closely to your applique so you don't have a lot of ravels. My next set of scissors, I have, as you can see, I have them on the uh, retractable cord. I have probably four or five of these. Uh, they're called snippies. They're by Havel. I have about four or five of these scattered throughout my sewing studio. I have one at every single machine. I have one on the long arm. I have one by the ironing board. Uh, one, because I'm always reaching for them, and two, I invariably will lose them. The reason I like these snips so much is they have a very sharp point, which is wonderful for unsewing when you make a mistake, or as I call it, ripping. I like the old fashioned word, because as you rip it, rip it, it's uh, basically called frogging. Um, these scissors are wonderful for on the back of a quilt after you've quilted and you might have some carry threads that stretch across for being able to get underneath. As you can see, they literally lay nice and flat. Um, these are just an incredible, pair of scissors and with them being flat and being so tiny in here, you can get right next to the thread and trim it and not have any little nubbies left. These are another one, if you notice, they are also curved so that they can sit down and you can reach up, which is a little more ergonomic. Uh, if you don't have the duck bills, these can work very well, or even if you do have the duck bills, these can work very well for very, very fine applique, little tiny pieces that you might be doing. Ideally, uh, what they are is a type of embroidery scissor for getting in and clipping the embroidery threads. Another embroidery thread or embroidery scissor that is very nice to have are these uh, curved, they have a very extreme curve and the theory is that it will go on over the hoop and you can get in while the hoop is in the machine to trim your threads. 
Uh, I do do a lot of embroidery. I make uh, quilt labels on the embroidery machine, and a lot of times I will do some embroidery to put onto the quilt uh, in the blocks. So I do like to have these scissors. So these are just a few of my very, very favorites. And um, if you get a chance, go into your local quilt shop and give them a try. I think you'll be very pleased with the results.